Hey guys, how's it going? It's LJ at Techo6 at YouTube.com, and today we're going to take a quick look at a rep grinding slash money making slash mat farming, fucking everything. Doesn't even matter. Gold farming, mount farming, everything. So we're going to take a quick look at this uh, fucking, I don't even know how to call it, it's just a group of shit. Group of shit. It's a group of shit. That's what it is. What is we're going to call it? Okay, so out here, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about it, in Crossing, Dread Wastes, Town Long, Kunlai, and the Jade Forest, they've got those rares. Um, the fucking War Scouts and Warbringers. Um, if you don't know where they are, they're in the Sri Law Village, just circling that area. Um, in Crossing, they're right in the middle below Temple of the Red Crane, and to the right of Cradle of Chiji. Let's go with that. Um, in Dread Race, Dread Wastes, they're straight to the left of the Soggy's Gamble. In Town Long Steps, Steps, Steeps, whatever, it's to the left of Sick of S. And Kunlai, it's right about on the right of the Yangal Advance, right above that cave looking thing. Um, they're the big guys on the big mount looking things, I'll show you right now. You get a chance of getting three different colors. You have the the slate, the amber, and the the other color, which is jade. Um, they're pretty easy. To, they're actually not easy to farm. Uh, we've only gotten one today, but we're just going to take a quick look at all the loot that we've gotten. Um, so far, we've gotten a shitload of bags and three of the bigger bags. Uh, rep also comes with it, so right now we're at 27,000 rep with the Golden Lotus, 13,000 rep of Klaxi, 10,000 rep of uh, Celestial, and we've already used a whole bunch of our Shadow Pan. Uh, between the two of us, it's a Hunter and Mage group. As long as the Hunter can kite and the Mage can kite, you're pretty good. Um, you can pretty much do this with any classes as long as you don't suck. As long as you don't fucking suck, you're fine. Um, I'm just going to open up all the bags and go through all the rep and just show you what you can do real quick. Um, so, for rep I only needed, what, what was this, Golden Lotus? Quickly get to Honored. And I would guess this is probably the best way to farm rep for both, for all of the Golden, or all these four reps here, Golden Lotus, Calaxi, Celestial, and Shadow Pan. Uh, hit Revered, you want to come out here and buy the tokens. So the Commendation things of the Golden Lotus and whatever the other one is for the other rep. Use them both. And continue your uh, rep grinding by clicking buttons. And this should get me exalted with both of these reps. By quite a bit. And that's Golden Lotus, and that's Klaxi right off the bat there. Um, so now you can buy tabards or mounts or whatever the hell you want. And now we're going to take a quick look at the bags. So between the two of us, we managed to get about 10 of these big Zandalari bags, um, about 50 of these small Zandalari bags, which is pretty good. Oh, that's a small bag of goods. I don't know how that one got in there. It's a little bit different. Anyways, I'm just going to quickly open it up and show you what I've got, and that'll pretty much be the video. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, and another double rares. Double epics, actually.
I'm actually sure not what I... I don't know what I just used. What was that? What did I just click? Anyways, so, in conclusion, I just racked up about... I don't know... $400 or 400 gold in just loot from the bags. As you can see, they drop gold from each one. Um, and probably at least... What do, you, what do you think? Two to three thousand? Two to three thousand gold? Three, four, I don't know. It, depending on how you work your angles here, because I mean, if you've got um, uh, Jewel Crafter, break all these down, sell them as gems, sell them as necklaces, DE those, you're looking at a five, six thousand gold. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.